I want to get your perspective on the euro. I was looking at euro-Swiss volatility, and I was really surprised. Obviously, there was a haven trade. Swiss went bid. Euro, euro tanked. Some would say the, the worst scenarios are contained on the left and on the right, and you have this appalling cohabitation, which is a state of, in Ireland, we say a state of chassis uh, rather than crisis. So it's this sort of, go, this sort of stalemate. Um, when you look at the euro and the collapse in volatility in Swiss, is that the right reaction function? Because I don't think the worst has passed. No, and, and I think that's really the clue here. I think that's the crucial thing. The worst may not have passed. Uh, there may be another French election, say, in a year's time. Um, you know, the parliament can't be dissolved twice within a year. That may bring in the far right. Uh, meanwhile, in the coming 12 months, can uh, the French government, if one is able to be put together, put in a budget which is going to satisfy Brussels. Uh, France had the second worst budget deficit, 5.5% uh, of GDP in, in the EU. I think Romania was the worst uh, over the last year. So there's a lot of work to be done and perhaps not a, a ability to do that. So uh, the worst may not be passed. And that's quite interesting for the Swiss franc because the Swiss franc tends to do well when we're all worried about the euro, the eurozone. Now, uh, you know, to give that a bit of context, you know, the S&B doesn't want a strong Swiss franc. You know, it's quite happy when, it, when it's losing ground because of, you know, its long history with different inflation and yeah. disinflationary pressures. So the SMB have been on the front foot. You know, they cut interest rates early when people didn't think they would. They mm -hmm. cut again when many in the market didn't think they would. Uh, they could go again uh, quickly because inflation is below 2%. And that's perhaps what's keeping the, S uh, the Swiss franc back. But... You know, I, I think if we are in, in three months, six months or 12 months' time very much worried about the budgetary situation in, in France and maybe Italy as well, yep. uh, you know, I, I think the euro could certainly have more downside pressure and the Swiss franc could move higher.